Okay, move, action. Hey, what's up guys? This is the behind the scenes of my short film, Agent Jackson. Um, we've got a lot to talk about. Hopefully I can make it a short video. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is scheduling. Trying to get the actors I needed um, was a little bit hard because I don't know too many people. But I did know this one guy and I reached out to him and he was nice enough to be in my film. But we had to work around his schedule because of work. So it ended up being a month later we worked out we would actually be able to shoot. Which was a little bit upsetting because I was so keen to do the film. But it gave me such a long time to prep for the film. Something I would not have done if we was filming the next day. I just, I wouldn't have put it off. I would have filmed it because I'm too keen to make a film. So it was good that I had that time to prep. And boy did I need it because there were some really big effects but we'll talk more about that later. So at the start of the film you see a brand new Baker Films uh, intro uh, and I really like that and I just thought that was cool and I'm going to try to put that in more of my short films. So the beginning of the film you also see uh, Agent Jackson getting ready as we hear a voiceover. Uh, the funny thing about this is that was the last thing we filmed. The thing at the start of the film was actually the last thing we filmed. I really wanted to do it at the start. I wanted to film it at the start because I was worried I'd get the suit wrecked in the fighting scenes. But we didn't um, get it wrecked so we just filmed it last. Now why did I do the beginning the way I did it? It's very interesting because because it's such a short film I didn't have time to set up the story without a narrative without like a voiceover So I set it up so as Agent Jackson is getting told his mission you the audience is also getting told the mission So um, it's a good way to uh, that's all, always a good way just to set the story very easily is just have someone tell your main character what's going on and that in turn tells you what's going on. Um, you also see um, very early on in the film a truck in the background. It says like Woolworths Delivery or something and it is so clear and so in your face. It looks exactly like product placement but obviously it isn't. I'm a small large channel that gets like 40 views on every video um, but like um, I debated if I should get rid of it and uh, it was just way too much work for me to get rid of it and I got nothing against putting a brand in my film. It's not like they're going to sue me. I'm so little so just keep it in there. Good on them. The right place, right time. Now we get into the fight scene. Now um, the fight scene was pretty straightforward. It's just doing the fights very safe and uh, you're probably wondering how do you do a fight uh, fight safe and that's a lot of practice and preparation. So I'm going to show you some behind the scenes of us practicing weeks before shooting. Alright, so sorry. So sorry. Oh yeah, one more thing. In case you're wondering why I'm practicing the choreograph with my sister's boyfriend instead of the uh, actor who plays Michael Runnings, that's because he was extremely busy at the time. So I just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> So you got to be behind that kick as well. Wait a minute, one more thing. And now you point your hand at me like you're about to shoot me. Like what you watch, I roll out of the way, and then boom, that hits the ground. Oh, I pull out my pen, shoot you in the face, close up shot, if you get a spat in the face. Now there's an explosion scene. Now this one was really difficult to work out how I was going to do it. Uh, because I wanted to do visual effects, but um, once again, I'm not that good at visual effects So I thought we'll do it practical and the way we did it was using a flint bomb just a flint out of a lighter and um, Heat it up and throw it at the ground. You can google it if you want to know how to do it But if you hurt yourself, it's not on me. Don't try this at home. I told you I can't get in trouble Right there do the countdown three two one, one. Go. Now, um, there's also another scene uh, in the fight scene where the um, acid comes out of a pen. Now, the way we done this was we ran a tube from a um, soda bottle to a pen and we just glued that on. And then when you squeeze the bottle, it pushes water through the tube and out, the, out of the other end of the tube, which is attached to the pen.
Now, um, one of the things is we were filming in a public road, obviously, we don't have permits to film there and we couldn't block it off because once again, we're a small channel. So, um, we did have the neighbours come out and one uh, lady wanted to mow her lawn. It's pretty funny. We don't have any footage of it, but we do have the audio. So, I'll play the audio. I like my... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 we, we, we can go. Ah, <laughs> uh, shouldn't be too long. Thank you. <laughs> they don't do that in Hollywood, do they? <laughs> um, yeah, so a few things went wrong. Speaking about things go wrong, here's um, some funny bloopers you might enjoy. Alright. We'll just have you walk forward when I call action. Alright. Three, two, one, action. He's not walking. <laughs> Alright, when I call action, come forward. Action. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I, <got an> accent. <laughs> I can't be in a suit saying nice things without an English accent. Alright. Chris, we need that. Excuse me, sir. You want to know what the time is, would you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, you want to know what the time is, would you? <laughs> oh, yeah, one more thing. No, the duck in kick, only one. Oh, right, like that. Right. And then drop. Yeah, right. right, so. Alright, how do we look there? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> High five! <laughs> Best friends forever! <laughs> So as you can see, we don't always get the takes perfect. In fact, most of the day it was just trying to get the takes perfect. That's like probably one of the hardest things about making a film is getting the shot you want. <laughs> but it does end up having some pretty funny bloopers in there. Sorry about that guys, my camera ran out of battery. But anyway, back to the film. So there's a scene where Michael Runnings kicks me in the face. But if you watch the original clip, you can see that the uh, knee doesn't really connect. Yeah. So what I did to overcome the problem is I just cut the black and then added the sound effect so then our brains just tricked themselves into thinking I got need. Um, a big part of filmmaking is just problem solving so that's that's definitely one of the things that I find fun about it. Uh, we shot all the fighting scenes and everything with no noise so I had to remake all the noise and sound effects. Pretty straightforward, download the sound effect, put it where it is. It was a lot of work but it definitely, I feel like it definitely was worth it. And also guys, there's a few easter eggs in the film, I'm not going to tell you what they are. But I will tell you that there is Easter eggs in it, so try to find it, okay? Hey guys, thanks for watching the behind the scenes, and like always, stay positive.